Greg Joseph now ready to get this one started and we are underway from Minneapolis. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now an option play on second down. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. This caught by Carlson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the six now on second and three. More the motion man right. On second down, Swift. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. DeAndre Swift, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, just about an ideal start to this one offensively because on the road, you want to make sure you quiet the home crowd early. And how do they do it? Nice march to start things off, let the run game find its footing early. That drive certainly checked a lot of boxes, and they finished it off with a touchdown run. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here come the Vikings as they get sent for their first drive. Under center, it'll be the Southern California native standing at 6'4", Sam Darnold. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and it allows him to make some special plays out there. On first and 10, Darnold. Complete, Jefferson the target. 
That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Here's second and three. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Third down and one. The play fake, and it's Darnold. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he will have a Vikings first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On the option to give to Swift here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 56 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second and 10. On the option to give to Swift here. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Third and four. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears' field goal. This a 27-yard attempt here. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. 
They find themselves down 10 nothing early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Darnold. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wrapped pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. This now a third and four. Here's Darnold. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Off of play action, Darnold. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That'll give him eight that time. And they'll be left with second and a couple. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw is Darnold. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Brings up fourth down, solid coverage by the Bears' D. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. A 46-yard The kick by Joseph is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So that's a seven play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. Joseph now to kick this one away. On the return, here's Tyler Scott. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now Williams throwing to start the drive. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten.
Now he'll try to run with this. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That time they pick up a 24 yards on the keeper. First down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, yeah, and when he collapsed down yeah, inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Looking to throw, Williams. There's a short throw, it's caught by Komet. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27 yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 17-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. Moore, the motion man. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Here's Swift. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want two. Yeah, you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Off play action. Williams. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Steven Carlson from three yards out, and the Bears go up by two touchdowns. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Santos now to add the PAT. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. That time, a nine-play drive, and the end result is a Bears touchdown. To the touchdown. Here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And now out comes Minnesota.
A first down throw, Darnold. Open his pal, that's complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 23, here's second and five. Play action, it's Darnold. On oh, the throw led him too much that time, it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The Vikings on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Now it's Darnold. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here's Jones on the return. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Bears take over. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Williams throw complete here to commit. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 72 yards on the ground here for Swift. And he's got a first down as well. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Williams throwing on first down. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now second and three. Back to throw. Williams. His throw incomplete. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to throw. Williams. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. 
Well, this has definitely been a ball control offense here in the first half. We saw them go on a long scoring drive the last time they had the ball. And now here, they get the third down conversion to keep this drive going. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Back to throw again. Touchdown, Bears! Cole Komet, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bears take a three-touchdown lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now the point after try for Santos. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. On first down, Darnold. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Darnold on first down. A check down here to Jones. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. Let's go. Let's go do this thing, baby. Now a second and two. From the 50, it's Darnold. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Darnold. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. To the air again, Darnold. Looking for Addison again, and he's got him again. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. Back to throw, Darnold. Complete to Addison on the out route. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. 
Joseph's got it. And that will do it for this first half. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff and they trail it here as we resume play. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. Now the Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any one of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle. And frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fake. Here's Darnold. And got his man complete. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson taking it in. And the Vikings come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Operating from the gun, Williams. And he's got the hook up to Moore. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And yeah, this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run here with Swift. Fights him off. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Chicago! DeAndre Swift, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears are able to add on to that lead. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Santos now to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. The drive summary that time, five plays. And a long run there in the end to top it off. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Justin Jefferson and the rest of this offense, they've got their helmets back on, and they're ready for this next series. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, make, you do. Makes you, get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Montez Sweat in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. Now well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now Darnold. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be forced out of bounds on the other side of the field. A big play there for Minnesota. 45 yards. Now, look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Darnold now to throw into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. And the Bears will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. All right, Brandon. Normally when you hear about guys making two interceptions in the game, you're thinking must be a free safety, maybe a corner. 
How about getting two picks out of one of your linebackers? Again, he's just in the right place at the right time, and that's another great play to come away with the football. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. So he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, they've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running I game. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Back to throw. Williams. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Jonathan Bullard. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. But you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan? Introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They said a load a big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. Now third down and very long. Looking to throw. Williams. That is caught. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Herbert powering up the middle, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They go back to the ground, this time swift, and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Williams throw complete there to Moore. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards on the play. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in a defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Back to throw. Williams. And it's caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second and goal from the one. Swift he is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. 
Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. It's their quarterback. Scoring on the two-yard keeper as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Now the point after try for Santos. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team... They've really been put through the ringer in this one. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Here's Darnold. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. To throw is Darnold. Pass complete to Addison. And he'll be out right at the 35. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first down, it's Darnold. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Powell. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. On first and 10, Darnold. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Again, Darnold. Slant route, and he's got Addison. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving.
Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And they'll come up second and seven. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Jefferson going to go in motion right. And now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Jones. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down, and for Darnold, it's desperation time. No, oh, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And this is going to be recovered by a member of the offense, but whistles come in. Remember, on fourth down, that becomes a dead ball if anyone other than the fumbler himself recovers. So it'll come back to the spot of the fumble, and that will mean that's going to wind up being a turnover on downs. For the Bears' offense out there set and ready to go. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him. First down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Four yards the pickup, first down. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. This is Swift on the counter. 
They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That play blown up on a really nice effort by Jerry Tillery. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two yard gain. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Williams now to throw on third down. And not enough on the throw that time as that one is incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. They're down big here late. I don't know, You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. A first down throw, Darnold. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle. Go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Minneapolis, so long, everybody.